Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome once more to Plague Inc. Evolved with me, Lafrix. On today's episode, we'll be doing the Prion in Brutal, because I want to. Uh, the last video I did was of the virus, so I thought this would be a nice change of pace. So, let's just go ahead, um, and we have some new bonuses. So, what I'll be doing is the... Chroma, uh, the Cytochrome, Chromachrome, the Cytochrome Surge. Get more DNA from popping orange DNA bubbles, which is great. We'll be going down. We'll be keeping Darwinist to increase our chance of mutating. Although we could get base oxidization, which is very nice. But no, we'll we'll stick with Darwinist. Uh, we'll be going into Aquasite, so we'll have an increased chance to go through water. And we'll be changing the Hydrophile into Extremophile, so we get a minor bonus in all environments which I find far more useful than a better bonus in small ones. We'll be calling it... Yeah, we're calling it Laugh Coil. Because look, it looks like a little coil. And I'm very unoriginal my names. We'll be starting once more in Saudi Arabia. For those who watched my virus um, playthrough, you'll, you'll know that the reason why I've, I'm now choosing Saudi Arabia is because it has a lot of landmass next to it it can infect via touch, which is just great. So we'll be doing that now. Okay, we can't afford. How much does it cost? Cost nine per one. We're we getting air first, purely because we are in a, it, we are in an arid country, so it'll help out significantly to get air. Then we'll be going into either insect or water. Then we'll be getting resistances. That is most likely the battle plan of this particular infection. Okay, let's go straight into air. So we are now airborne. Gives path gives pathogen the ability to travel on dust particles. Not the best, but certainly useful. So, once it's in the air, you'll walk past it and get infected. Lovely. Okay. I've just tried to um, finish the nanovirus, actually, on Ultra Brutal, and I failed miserably. The speed in which the kill switch uh, affects you is nightmarish. I've only actually completed the nanovirus on normal so far in the new game, but I don't think it's much different than, than, than the iOS version, so I'm not too concerned, really. Um, let's go with water purely because I want to get into ships. It's not particularly useful in the country I'm in currently, but getting an, an, an early few ships out, definitely worth it. I'll also be going along with coughing because coughing is such a nice thing to get. Very cheap for a lot of infection, and generally speaking they don't find you with coughing for a long time. How long until I can get drug resistance? We can get it now, so we'll get that straight away. So as soon as we get somewhere we've got a bit of drug resistance. Drug resistance does actually help everywhere slightly. Even the poor countries it does help, but only slightly. In the richer countries, obviously, it's basically needed. Okay, we've just got cysts and instantly devolved it because we don't really want to get found. Once you have two symptoms, the chance of you being found is actually quite high, and I really want to be able to spread a little bit further before we get found. Okay, how much are cold? Um, drug level 2 would be nice to get, but I think we'll get cold level 1 right now. And then we'll see where we spread first. Okay, we're in Iraq, so that's good. We've, we've infected our first new country. And we're straight away in Japan, which really sets it in stone. We need to get drug level 2, because it is a wealthy country, a wealthy urban country. So we do need the drugs. Well, we don't need the drugs, we need to kill the drugs. Well, we need to stop the drugs. Drugs! <laughs> I hope you're having a great day, by the way, Sir Internet, and a great week and a great month. Um, leave me a comment below if you're having a great day. Only kidding, I don't really need that. Although, if you do wish to, please tell me. I'd love to have a talk with my lovely subscribers. Hmm, let's see. Sorry if I sound a little bit whacked out. It's because it is 8.30am. I've just had breakfast and done the virus playthrough. It's my second playthrough of the day, very early on. I'm going to go and get wind level 2, despite... N sorry, air level 2, despite saying I'd get drugs. Purely because we're in a lot of Africa now. So the wind would def so so air would definitely help us there significantly. Okay. So so if, if you're wondering by the way, the ability of the prion is neural atrophy. Because a prion is a protein that's found in the brain, a pathogenic protein. It causes neural breakdown. Sorry, neural breakdown causes breakdown in concentration. Complex tasks become harder. Basically, it's a level of insomnia. It keeps on giving you some um, cure resistance. It basically makes people slower to, to try and cure you. It's particularly effective when a lot of people are, are infected. When there's few infected, it doesn't really make a difference. And to be perfectly honest, I normally don't really use it particularly much. 
Uh, for those also wondering, the, the big thing about Prion is mutations take a long time to actually take effect. So once you've mutated one thing, it will take several weeks, if not months, for it to affect the entire uh, population of your disease. For instance, me just giving me drug resistance will take a long time to be in full effect, but once it is, you, you'll see a huge difference in places like Japan and England, because now I can say tough titties to their diseases, to their um, drugs rather. I am really out of it this morning, aren't I? Jesus. Uh, we're getting cold level 2, I think, because we are in Russia. Okay, so we've got all of the resistances we really need. There's not much else we need to do to spread. I may go down the route of getting insects, purely so we can increase our mutation rate even further, so we can get some nice freebies down the line. Don't really want insomnia right now. Once again, I don't really want to be found just yet. I'm nowhere near, inf um, I'm nowhere near infected enough to really be doing that. As soon as we're in kind of Sweden, Finland kind of t territory and we can send ships to Greenland, then I will consider actually evolving sneezing manually. Okay, we've got a lot of flies, so let's go ahead and get insect level 1. That will particularly help in the hotter countries such as Africa. I know Africa isn't a country, I meant to say countries within Africa. It's a continent, it's a supercontinent, I know. Infected more than the common cold. Um, a lot of Africa is actually getting infected. Yep, relatively quickly. So is... Oh, good. We, we are now in Finland. So I'm going to go ahead and get sneezing. That will increase our infectivity significantly. But will also make us found almost instantly. So it's a bit of a trade-off. But it's very cheap. So that's always good. And it also limits what, what we will randomly mutate. So there's a higher chance of us getting something which I actually want. Which is nice. Um, I'm actually going to go and do something different today. Let's go down rash, sweating, and then we'll also get skin lesions. I want to get necrosis for once because necrosis is certainly very interesting. The dead become more infectious than the living, which is just insane, and it does also kill people. So as soon as we're in every country, I will go ahead and get necrosis. The reason why I have to get to every country first is people start shutting their borders. Oh, no, 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 you don't is people start shutting their borders far too quickly once something that lethal is, is um, developed. So we really need, uh, sorry, borders and ports. There we go, we're in Greenland, so we can go ahead and get necrosis. Shouldn't have um, devolved it, but oh well. So we've got necrosis and we'll get water level 2 so we can make sure we infect everywhere before we're done. We'll also get heat resistance level 1 just to make sure that the African community gets the full effect of our disease. Italy shuts airports. How terrible. We haven't... Oh, no. Yes, we are now in Morocco. I was about to say, we're not in Morocco. Oh, dear God. But we just got there right, just in time. We, I think we are in everywhere. Yes, we are. That's great. We are killing very fast, which is an issue because we're killing faster than we are infecting in some country. I'm not sure where because I didn't look at it properly. How goes Greenland? Greenland goes well, actually. It's not dying too fast. So let's go ahead and get something else, which is infectious. So let's go ahead and... Actually, we could go ahead... At least I'm saying go ahead. We'll get some more mutation increasing sim uh, transmissions. So not only is it increasing our infectivity, it's also increasing the level of mutations we'll get in the future. Oh, that is a very nice symptom indeed. Okay, well, we'll have to watch out though because this will kill very, very quickly now. So we have to make sure that everywhere is being infected faster than it's dying. It does seem to be, so that's good. Um, we can go ahead and get once more... We'll get rodent level 2 and livestock level 2, so we are also in wildlife. Then we'll go ahead and get genetic reshuffle level 1. Just push it back a little bit. And now, neural atrophy level 1. So, people are taking some minor brain damage from the prion. It's slowing them down a little bit, as you might imagine. And that'll give us some, some basic cure resistance because we're in so many people. There's a good chance we're in everyone who's also trying to cure us. So we'll go ahead and get level 2 of that as well. Axonal swelling causes disorientation and tense confusion. Confusion. Complex tasks become harder. And then the next one is significantly harder, which is lovely. Okay, we are pretty much destined to win this as long as we don't kill too quickly, which we really don't seem to be. Oh, we've just got nausea as well, which is great. And we can get level 3. There we go. We're basically causing short-term memory loss in everyone. And as you see, we actually went down a little bit then, which is nice. There are no healthy people left in the world, and everyone who is healthy is suffering from short-term memory loss. 
making them forget what they just did and making it very hard to cure a very rampant protein disease. Come on, one. Oh no, we're two off. We, there you go. We can get another reshuffle to boost our cure, a little, our cure, our score a little bit more. I'm so sorry for getting words mixed up, sir and threats. It's very early in the morning, and once again, for those who have been watching me for a while, you know, I do actually have a speech impediment. The speech center of my brain doesn't work as efficiently as it really should. So it's very hard for me to actually speak early in the morning, so I have to concentrate quite a lot. It seems like we've won, though, so that's very, very good indeed. Yep, everywhere's infected. There's not much else we can really do other than just watch and wait for them all to perish. You all die, I'm afraid. Uh, we can actually devolve some of these. As you can see, in Brutal, it slowly costs... Uh, sorry, it slowly gives us less and less back when we devolve things, so that's not really that great. Uh, there's nothing... You no, know, we can't afford anything particularly good, so we may as well just wait. I was hoping that I might be able to sneak in immune suppression or something. But sadly, that does cost 18. I've only got 12. Oh, we've got 15 now. Can I get anything like maybe pulmonary anemia? No. We, we, we can get fever. The fever increases lethality slightly, so... Increases our score a bit. Makes us more complex. Hmm, we just went down slightly in the queue. That's interesting. What'd that happen? Probably be Oh, because we became more complex. That's why. Okay, it seems like we've won. So, and threats. Disciples of disease... <laughs> Okay, so I might as well say all my goodbye things now. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, it would be great if you left a comment asking me, sorry, telling me what to do next. If you have any, any suggestions or just saying hello, I am very happy to say hello back. I hope you're having a great day and a great week. I hope you have a great few days. And if you haven't subscribed or, or gave me a like yet, feel free to. It really does help out the channel a lot. And it makes me know I'm doing something which you're enjoying. Immune suppression mutated. There we go. There's the icing on the cake. We are killing very slowly, I must say, these last million or so. Normally by now we would have finished. Hmm. Not sure why it's actually quite so slow. My lethality is actually quite high. Eh, oh well. Weirdness, weirdness, weirdness. Lath coil to destroy humanity. Goodbye, humanity. I hope you had a great life, because you bet he did now. Mm. Just waiting for you to go away, people. Okay, well, New Guinea just gave us some DNA because. Oh, New Zealand, sorry. New Guinea's there. What is a New Guinea for? I don't know. It's so close. Uh, let's go ahead and get diarrhea. So, vomiting, yes. The last few people are now also vomiting. Projectile vomiting combo. <laughs> oh, you poor, poor creatures. The last 5,000 people huddling together, projectile vomiting. And with that, sir and sirettes, I leave you. Thank you for watching. As I say, please give me a like and a sub if you haven't already. It helps out so much. And goodbye.